Hey recruiters out there, Tony Steeman here, Senior Sourcing Recruiter with Pinstripe Talent. Today in this video blog I want to talk to you about sourcing. More and more organizations are wanting their recruiters to come in with a sourcing background or some sourcing certifications or training in their past work history. It's a very important and highly toutable skill in the market of recruiting today. So today I want to talk to you about three basic keys that have worked for me when learning sourcing from the very beginning. The first key is this, you have to learn Boolean language. Enroll yourself in a class, do some Google searching, learn Boolean at its very basic skills, learn some modifiers and how to write a string and right there if you can learn that you're already on your way to being a good sourcer. Boolean is the common language across all sourcing functions. You use it at job boards, at big boards, at uh, Google search strings, in deep web searches, whatever it may be, you have to know Boolean language. So the very first key is to learn that. The second key is to do research into skill sets for your client. If your client wants you to know uh, Six Sigma, if your client wants you to know nursing, whatever it may be, I call it Google searching. Just go out on Google, type in the skill set, type in the job title, read a few paragraphs and learn about that skill set. Learn about the acronyms and once you do that, you'll be able to use those in your Boolean strings in, in conjunction with key number one to become a better sourcer. And the third and final key is be creative. And I like to call this one, think like your candidates. What are your candidates doing? What are they putting on their resume? Read some resumes, find out how they word the acronyms, how they word the skill sets. And if you can learn to be creative and combine it with the other keys, then you will be already a step ahead at the very basic level of finding candidates that no one else is finding. So let's take a look at these examples. Number one, Boolean searching, learn Boolean strings. Number two, do some basic Google research. And number three, be creative and think like your candidates. Let's take a look here at an example. So let's use this example here. Imagine your hiring manager has asked you to find a mechanical engineer with strong Six Sigma experience. And if you've ever done an engineering position, you'll know that Six Sigma, a form of lean manufacturing, is very common. So normal search strings would look like this, mechanical engineer and Six Sigma. But how do we make something as simple as an engineer with Six Sigma experience be creative? How, how can we do something that no one else is doing and how can we uh, figure out more about this? And the first thing we need to do is, if you're new to these positions, find out what Six Sigma is. So right there is using step number two, Google research typing in what is Six Sigma or just the word Six Sigma and here I found a website I Six Sigma with a great paragraph and even a video of professional engineers explaining what it is. So it's really simple to do some research and find this information out. Now let's go back and here even in Wikipedia we find uh, some great information. Uh, another uh, few paragraphs, what is Six Sigma and this stuff takes five minutes to read and here we see that there's certifications, there's black belts, green belts, and more in this field. So already we have some more keywords to make our Boolean search string very creative. And I always do want to encourage everyone to check out more than just one site. Check out a few sites to make sure you're getting accurate information. It is the internet. There could be anything out there. So how do we be creative with this search string? Uh, step number three, how do we learn um, to think how our candidates are thinking? Well, we can look at a few resumes and see how they're putting how they're putting Six Sigma on their resume. But for me, I've sourced positions like this a ton, so I already know all the variations of the word. And so I'm gonna change up my search string and make it creative with just basic Boolean modifiers. I'm gonna do mechanical engineer and Six Sigma or Six Sigma or Six Sigma and as you can see there's all different ways to type it and these ways may seem funny but these ways are actually some ways that I've seen candidates put it on their resume um, forgetting to put a space in between or using the number six instead of, instead of typing the word six um, also just using black belt or green belt some candidates don't put Six Sigma but they put certified green belt on their resume and that's just the way that they decided to word it so even in the simple 
search here mechanical engineer in six sigma i've already gotten a lot more results in google by making it creative doing some research and finding out all the different ways that candidates might type six sigma and there might even be more but here's a great example of how we've taken our three steps and been creative and gotten a lot more results Thank you for taking a look at that very basic example of searching for a mechanical engineer with strong Six Sigma skills. As you can see, you can take basic Boolean language, combine it with some basic Google research, and use some creativity and have a string that no one else is using, that no one else is thinking of. Even at the very basic level, you've learned sourcing and you can be creative and you can find some unique candidates for your clients. So I hope this video blog has been helpful for you today. Make sure you click on the link here on this logo, subscribe to Pinstripe on YouTube, subscribe to my channel Sourcing Tony, and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.